And as you can see, we found our obstruction. You can see all the roots down there just filling up the drain. Okay, guys, well, we're fi looks like we're finally having our first problem uh, with these tomato plants. And as you can see, they are getting extremely big. Uh, and the problem seems to be the roots are probably interfering with the drain. So I think I did put them too close to the drain. Uh, these tomato plants, I'm, I'm gonna have to rip, rip them out and see uh, why my bell siphon is not working. It doesn't allow enough water to get into the bell siphon enclosure uh, to keep the siphon uh, sustained until the bed is empty. So we're going to uh, rip out some of these tomato plants and see where our problem uh, is. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, just start moving some, uh, some of our seedlings out to the uh, barrel aquaponics system just because it's, it's about that time. We can't leave these guys inside. So this is a uh, cantaloupe uh, here we took out of the bed number four. And this one here is a watermelon. Took it out of the same bed. So uh, we're gonna get these uh, planted in the system outside because I, I don't think uh, melons like their roots uh, touch or having uh, access to the air. So I think we're, we're gonna get a little bit of root shock on these uh, melon plants. And we're just trying to get as, ma as many of the roots out uh, without harming the plant as possible. Kind of just taking our time uh, getting this tomato plant out. Um, but I just put the melons out in the barrel system and uh, I didn't have any problems there. Okay, so we got the first tomato plant out of the system and you can see the root uh, is, the, the root ball is not as big as I thought it would be. You can still see actually the jiffy pod uh, at the bottom of the plant. But I, now we're kind of thinking that we have um, debris inside of the drain pipe. So we might uh, just take the standpipe out of the bell siphon enclosure and stick something out there and see if there's uh, any obstructions. But I just wanted to show you guys the plant and I'm gonna go ahead and move this outside. Okay, so we're working to pull out uh, the biggest tomato plant. It's one row over. I got two out there in the barrel system and it's a little windy, it's a little rainy out there, but I got some tomato cages down and we'll see uh, how, that, how they're uh, doing in, over the next few weeks. But uh, we're gonna pull a bunch of these tomato plants out and, and get them outside. And as you can see, we found our obstruction. You can see all the roots down there just filling up the drain, uh, not, allow, not allowing enough water to enter the bell the bell siphon enclosure. So uh, we're gonna clean that up and get this bed put back together. This is pretty neat. Um, just looking at the way these tomato plant roots are growing uh, into this bed, you can really see why we were having a problem uh, with our drain, so. Okay, so as you can see, we got the bed all put back together. Uh, the only thing that is actually in the bed right now is three bell pepper plants. You can see one of them right here. It was really good to see the root structure of, or how the actual indeterminate tomato plants grow, uh, you know, as opposed to other plants that might grow a little bit different uh, root, root wise. But yeah, those those roots went all the way down to the bottom and they started to go down the drain. So that was definitely what our our issue was. So now that I know, I mean, I, I had I had worries about it before, and you guys even warned me about it uh, in previous videos, but. It was just one of those things where uh, I wanted to document, like, you know, document the whole thing and just basically find out for myself. So, uh, yeah, um, I guess uh, that experiment was uh, probably a success because the bed is now cleaned out and uh, the plants are doing, uh, and they're doing all right. Um, I got a bunch of plants in the outside system now and in the raised beds, and I'll go ahead and go out there in just a second and give you guys kind of an update on on that thing too. Um, but I want to go ahead and show you the. Uh, <laughs> what I did in the fish tank. Now, when I came out here this morning, this the fish tank was settled. You, it was crystal clear. You could see everything. You can't even really see the tilapia in there. Oh, maybe you can. I don't know. Uh, but I hope uh, I hope I don't end up killing my fish because of this. So. Okay, so you can see I have uh, some of the tomato plants moved out to the barrel aquaponics system. Uh, I have. I have uh, th th this is two two of those big tomato plants and they're just they're they're buried in the system, looking a little weepy. I don't think they really like this transfer very much. So we'll see how they're doing in the next couple of days. Same thing with this system here. Uh, these guys are just growing up in the tomato cages that I have placed. 
uh, looking a little weepy. I hope I hope they kind of bounce back, but I'm a little worried about this melon plant now. It is not looking good. See, see what happens. As you can probably hear, this is probably not the best day to be doing this, but I really didn't have a choice, so I had to move all the tomato plants out here. Uh, we have you know, two different varieties, same thing as uh, same thing as the raised, or as the uh, barrel aquaponic system, and then I have a melon planted there, a water, or I'm sorry, cantaloupe and a uh, watermelon planted here so we can compare if the other ones come back in the system uh, we can compare a uh, raised bed growth to an aquaponic system growth so so hopefully they come back and we get to really have this experiment experiment well, that was great. okay well thanks for watching our my first problem video and i hope i don't know maybe maybe you learned something i know i learned something so that's good but uh yeah, don't forget about the Facebook fan page at HD Aquaponics, uh, with the YouTube channel. Uh, everything's pretty. Uh, everything's been updated, and the, the new logo and branding has been added to added to the channel and the, and the page. I'm going to be launching the websites or the, the website here in the next week or two. Uh, it's going to be HDAquaponics.com. So uh, bookmark that, and I'll be ha I'll be adding Twitter feeds and YouTube feeds and Facebook feeds and. All sorts of feeds, articles, and everything like that on aquaponics. So I, I hope to kind of build it up and make it, uh, you know, and really, really try to help this community grow. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys.